Hi, Deirdre McNamara here again. This is the third video in the Excel 2010 series. Um, today we're going to look at um, some simple uh, multiplication in Microsoft Excel and a little bit more on formatting. Okay, so I'm going to start off by doing a bit of typing, so I'll just freeze my video. Okay, so I've just done in the typing here. Um, to save some time and this is just showing you and um, we're trying to work out how much our profit is for certain items we're selling in a restaurant uh, here are the number we sold in the restaurant and what the total amount in the cash register is for the sales of the 54 for example lasagnas so the first column here shows you the price on the menu so we're selling lasagna at five euros each it was costing us three euros to make and the first thing we'd like to do is to work out uh, how much profit we're making every time we sell a portion of lasagna. So the first thing I'll do is I'll click into the cell that I want the answer to appear in. So I'm going to click into cell D3. It seems to have frozen for a second. Okay. Um, and to let Excel know that we want to do some calculations, we always start off with an equals. Now, often you're used to in maths putting equals further down the formula. In Excel, you must start with an equals. So I type in an equals um, to let it know to do a calculation. So what we want to do is our profit is going to be calculated by um, the sales price minus the cost price and that's how much profit we're making for each portion of lasagna so the sales price is in in this case it's cell b3 okay so i'm just going to type in b3 and you'll notice the text is in blue and there's a little blue ring around that cell so i know that's the correct cell um, and i'll type in my minus sign and then this cell here is B3. I could type it. I'm feeling lazy today, so I'm just going to click on it with my mouse and the typing will be done for me. So you can do it either way. So I'm going to click now and you can see C3 um, has appeared in the cell. So it now reads equals B3, which is the 5, minus C3, which is the cost, which is 3 uh, euros. So I'm happy with that formula. At this stage, I can either press enter on my keyboard or else I can click on the correct sign uh, up here. I'm just going to click on the correct sign up here and the answer goes in. Now I need to do the same calculation here and here and Excel again allows you to do this in a fast way and we're going to use the fill handle that we saw in the previous two videos. Again make sure the cell is selected, get your black cross which is down in the bottom right hand corner, click your left mouse button and drag down. So you can see here with Chicken Kiev, it's six uh, euros to sell. It's costing us two euros, so that means we're making a profit of four euros every time we sell a portion of Chicken Kiev. Okay. Now, the next set of calculations we have are we want to work out what our total profit is on a particular day for lasagna. We know that we make two euros every time we sell a portion of lasagna, and we sold 54 portions. So to work out what the total profit is for the day, it's going to be the 2 multiplied by 54. So again, you select the cell where you want the answer in, and you type in your equals, and it's the 54 multiplied by the 2. So don't type in 54, it's always the cell, so it's E3, and to save me doing the typing, I'm just going to click on it with my mouse, so it's E3, and in Excel, the multiply sign is not an X, it's a star. So it's above the 8 on your keyboard. So star, um, and then it's D3, or again, I can click on it with my mouse. So it says equals E3 multiplied by our star D3. That's the correct formula. I'm happy with that. Either press enter or click correct on your keyboard. So I've just done that. I'm now going to drag that down up here. So I'm just going to click and drag down. And that's showing me the profit I'm making on each of the different menu items. So the next column over, again, just a bit of a revision of what we're doing there in the multiplications. We sold 54 portion and we sold each of them for a fiver. So the amount in the till for lasagna should be the five multiplied by the 54. So again, select the cell where you want the answer, type in your equals, type in the quantity sold, so that's cell E3, star, cell B3 in this case, where the 5 is. I'm happy with that formula and I click on correct. 
Again, I don't have to do them each individually. I use my fill handle to drag down. Now, I'd like some totals down the bottom here, so I select the cell where I want the total to appear. And like in the second video, we click on the auto sum button up top right here, the little funny E thing. So click on auto sum. It has correctly selected the right cells here and correct. And then I can just drag it across. Okay, now um, at the moment um, we haven't sales price, it should be sales price, but the CE is getting clipped. So I can just double click up here to make it automatically fit. So I'm double clicking along. Total profit and total sales. Okay. Now I need to put on some borders. So I'm going to select in here. And again, put on my all borders. We went through this in detail in the second video. So if you need revision, have a look at that. Um, this one here also needs to be increased in size. I'm going to put on some um, color. And again, I like that blue, so I just click on the button itself. And I'm going to increase this in font size as well. Now, at the moment, my cost is sitting over on the left. My number is sitting over on the right. So I need to also make sure my alignment is correct. So I select my titles and I choose up here, align text right. Okay, this is the end of the third video.